Hi, it's Kernatex here with a video about how to prepare KDE Neon ready for installing Linux from scratch. So this video is specifically about the information in chapter 2.2 .2, um, host system requirements where it shows what packages are needed to build Linux from scratch and which versions, minimal versions, are required. So when I get the desktop coming up, I'll get that web page up and just show you the page I mean. Um, and then I'll go through showing you how to upgrade the host to be ready to install Linux from scratch. Okay, so um, first thing I need to do is to Let's just make this a bit bigger. And I'll load the browser up as well. I've just got to mount the uh, a drive, a partition, um, with the script. Uh, save me um, having to keep copying and paste it in. So if I go to the Linux from scratch web page, and go to the book, and it's when it comes. Okay, I've had this a few times today. The uh, Linux from scratch website seems to be a little bit slow. Right, there it is. So yeah, this is a chapter 2.2 .2 host system requirements. There are all the packages with the minimum versions and this is the script which I've already got. So I'm just going to run that now. And you can see there's quite a few missing packages that need to be installed. So if I start at the top, the first thing we've got is that the bin sh link does not point to the bash program. It's actually pointing to the dash program. So probably the best way, the safest way to do this in terms of getting Linux from scratch rolling is to overwrite the existing link with a new one. So we overwrite uh, uh, the link with a link to user bin bash and set that in the bin sh link so those options there are for a symbolic link, a soft link FIFA verbose and F to false yeah, like the overwrite so for now rerun the script you can see that error is now gone um, S, bin sh is now pointed to bash and not dash so the first command not found we've got is bin util, so we need to install that. And it's probably best to go through this and install the packages one at a time because you might find that some packages are pulled in automatically. So apt install bin utils. And there it's identified what it needs to install. Okay, that's done. So if we now rerun the script, you should see that binutils is installed, it's found the version. So the next one we go on to is bison, command not found. So again, similar thing, just apt install bison. And just accept that. Now you'll notice there it's got the um, M4 package just there. So that's one of the ones we had to install there. So by installing Python, um, hopefully we'll have found that um, M4 has been installed. So I'll rerun the script, and indeed you can see M4 has been installed. More importantly, Python, which is the one we're doing, has also been installed. And a, a sim link has been automatically created for us that we need as well, pointing to Yak, user bin Yak. So that's that one out of the way. 
So the next one we've got to do is Gork. Um, you'll notice also the link goes to Mork. Well, it's probably because there isn't Gork installed, but we do want this pointing to Gork. But installing Gork will mean that link gets updated. So we just do apt install Gork. And rerun the script, and you can see the uh, Gork has been installed, GNU Ork, and the link has been updated to Gork as well. So, the next one we've got is GCC. So, again, we do the same thing apt install GCC, and this will install the compiler, so it's quite fundamental to getting Linux from scratch working. A little while to install because it's quite a big package. Okay, that's done. Rerun the script, and you can see we've got GCC installed now. So we move on to G, which is a C compiler. So again, just change it to G, apt install G, and press, press enter to accept the default yes. That's done. Run the script again, and you can see that it's been installed there. So just look down for the next one. Next one we need is make. So again, we do apt install. The name of the package is make. All done. Rerun the script, and make is now installed. So the next one we do is patch, and once again it's apt install patch. Nice small package. Rerun the script, and you can see patch is now installed. So finally we come on to make info. Now make info is actually a program, not a package name. So if you try to install, do apt install make info, it will fail because, as I say, it's a, a program name rather than package name. Make info is actually part of the text info package, so that's what we need to install. So do that, and when this is finished installing, we should find that make info is now on the disk. So rerun the script, and there you go, we've got what well, it says uh, the new text info, and text2any is the program it was looking for there. So you can just go through again, just make sure everything's been packed up. The next thing you'd need to do is to just check the versions. If you're all bang up to date, um, there shouldn't be any problems, any issues with the versions. They should all be greater than what's required by the Linux from Scratch book. And then you can just carry on following the instructions in the Linux from Scratch book. So if you've found this video useful, please uh, like it and click on subscribe to follow my channel if you want to. Um, know about any other videos I'll do in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.